Hello, my little dreadfuls. I'm Nyx, and tonight, I've got something different for you. Tonight, we're going to play a little game called Perceptions of the Dead. Okay, volume one. Pick a story. Pick a story, pick a story, pick any story. Let's see, Jill Count, the Phantom Ice Cream Truck, Perceptions of the Dead. Um, well, it looks like this is probably the main story because it's the title of the game. Let's go with, I guess, the first one. She seems annoying. Oh, okay. Live with Jill Count and the Pun Show? Jill has had moderate success as a stream streamer. Oh. And to mix th to mix things up this Halloween, she is going to live stream a visit to a haunted hospital. The twist? It's actually haunted. Oh wow. Okay. So I already play that. Wait, let's see. Yeah, let's find out what the other ones are. Let's see, the Phantom Ice Cream Truck. Follow a denizen of the border between life and death as he answers a call to rescue a missing child. That's pretty cool. Alright, so what's the main story about? Tyrone has made it his business to help solve the troubles of those afflicted by the undead. But what seems like a case of a benign haunting may find him risking more than his life. But his very soul. Oh. Okay, so that one definitely is probably like the main story. Um, let's, let's do the streamer girl. <laughs> Although I am actually interested in the ice cream truck. The missing child thing seems pretty cool. Um, not, not that missing kids are cool. Or kids missing are cool. Or whatever. Jill Count. Live with the pun show. God, I hope this is not full of puns. Live with Jill Count. Hey lads and ladies, it's me, Jill Count, here with you live on my way to the location of my Halloween special. That's right, as part of my agreement with my beloved followers, I am doing a live Halloween streaming special in the most haunted place in my state. Yeah, I couldn't really afford to travel all the way to Amityville or New Orleans or something, but I was lucky enough to find the most haunted building in my humble little state. Those among you who probably know way too much about me have probably already googled and found out exactly where I'm going. You are correct! What? What is that? Is that supposed to be somebody's name? Anyway, I'm on my way to St. Hart Hospital. This place was shut down in like the 60s after a freak strain of the flu or something killed almost every patient and doctor in the building over the course of a single week. Dude, that's... That's more than a flu. Since then, there have been thousands of sightings of spoops filling many a pants... Oh my god, I already hate this bitch. With poops. Yay. What better place to spend Halloween than in a building with more ghosts than I have subs? Whoops. Never mind. Looks like I just pulled ahead on that race. The Jill count is going up. Oh my god. If I ever start streaming, if I ever become like this, you have my permission to unsub. <laughs> Welcome new followers Frog, frog, frog morph and a uh, cat kicker 99. Really? <laughs> I'm going to go and assume that you're a kicker who is a cat and not a kicker of cats. Pancakes and hash browns? Thank you. Getting myself a bite to eat before I head out. Can't do any proper ghost hunting on an empty stomach. Yeah, those tummy growls definitely sound demonic. 
numbing noises as she takes an exaggerated bite. Oh my god, I hate people like this. Is she talking to herself? I'm pretty sure it's some sort of self-recording device. You want some more coffee? Oh, yes, please. I'm going to need it tonight. Going to a Halloween party? Sure am. A party of one. Oh my god, I can't believe I had to say that. Well, you keep safe. And if you need more coffee, just come back here. We're open all night. On Halloween? Sure. We get more traffic in here on Halloween than any other night. It's probably because there are like 17 million haunted houses around here. Oh. I only knew about the hospital. The waiter stopped. That's not where you're going, is it? Uh, no. No, no, totally, no. I was actually going to meet my friends for another party. You know, across town. Definitely not at the hospital. Good. That building may be haunted, but it's dangerous. If you want to try to scare yourself silly, go to the Peltley Farm or the... Wundich? 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 Wundich Chapel? <laughs> Wundich? <laughs> Stay away from St. Hart Hospital. Oh, yeah, totally sure. Totes. Oh, yeah. The waiter nodded as Jill paid. Oh, man, guys. I'm more excited than ever. Okay, gotta drive. And I don't stream and drive. TTYL. Oh, my God. Is that... Please tell me that is not the end of her story. <laughs> Okay, lads and ladies, I'm not actually there yet, but you have got to get a look at this. Tell me that is not the scariest building any of you have ever seen. Okay. Bucket juggler. <laughs> I won't doubt you, but I think you might want to look into a different dentist if that's the case. Okay, driving more. <sighs> B-I-R-B. We're here, and we're ready to roll. You all missed out on a little bit of sneaking in. Okay, so the door wasn't actually locked at all, and it's not like there, there was anyone watching, but I didn't really want to risk someone chewing me off. The night's just started, and I haven't even had my first haunt yet. Check this place out. It's spooky as fudge. Oh my god. Because fudge is one of those things that you can just eat and eat before you realize you've eaten 8,000 calories. Terrifying. <laughs> okay, so let's make this a choose my adventure game like a choose your own adventure game but instead of your adventure you get to choose mine someone ban butt muncher 67 because take off all your clothes is not one of the options <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> i hate this girl okay the actual choices are We've got the burn ward, and then we have the children's ward, not my favorite pick, and the entomology clinic. Wait, no, I'm not reading that right. The letter's all messed up. No idea what it's actually supposed to be. So it's up to you, beloved viewers. What's the consensus? Where should we explore first? Let's see. The burn ward, the children's ward, or the E ward. Um. Oh, the burn ward. That's gonna get kind of gross. And then we got oh the creepy, creepy ass children. 
All the little kid ghosts running around, giggling. And then E Ward. Huh. Uh, let's get the children's ward. Buttermilk biscuits. Fine. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be going to the children's ward. Okay, you know, I said that I wanted to be scared, but I can't handle spooky kids. I already don't do great with kids, but to even think of the kind of creepy horror babies you see in movies? Ugh. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Oh. I'm actually kind of creeped out by little kids, too. <laughs> oh, look at this creep hole. No, please. This place is nightmare central. Seriously, if I saw this guy here wishing me to get better, I'd assume he really meant the opposite. Seriously, look at that face. I think running into him would be a hundred times worse than running into a little kid ghost. He stares into my soul. What are you doing here? Ah! <laughs> you here for the party? Who? What? Oh, it's a dude. Okay. <laughs> are you, like, here for the Halloween party? I'm not done setting up yet. You're having a Halloween party here? I have a Halloween party here every year, brah. You... You're having a Halloween party. With cookies and cupcakes and soda pop. This place suddenly became a lot less scarier. Who are you talking to? The people watching my stream? Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Where the fuck is this place? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I gotta finish prepping for this, uh, for the shindig. <laughs> you can totally come. Uh, it'll start as soon as the others arrive. Oh, uh... Do you know anywhere you're scary in the hospital? Scary? Uh, no, not really, bro. Ugh. Have you not looked around you? You don't consider anything about the scary? Oh, you mean haunted? You're wanting to see a ghost? Ghosts don't scare me, bruh. Sure, thanks. If you want that, find the basement and the morgue. That place is haunted as hell. But it is, like, not safe. I suggest finding your fun at my party instead. There are cookies and cupcakes and I got a 24-pack surge, bruh. Oh my god. Yeah, fine, I'll think about it. What is your name, by the way? Owen... Look, have a spooky Halloween, bro. And look, be careful if you decide to find the basement. Okay, that guy was a little creepy, but definitely not scary. And he definitely killed the mood. But on the upside, I know about the basement now. Just need to figure out how to get there. Before we do that, let's take a look at the other halls and see if we can find anything else interesting. So where to next? Uh, burn ward! We're gonna save the E ward for later. Ugh, burn wards. I'm scared of burn wards in a much more real way than I am scared of ghosts or goblins. You see, when I was a little girl, I had a cousin, and we were really close. Like, when I was five, I thought she was my sister. And my cousin. Because I had friends with sisters, and they were as close to me as... Wait, because I had friends with sisters and they were as close to me as my cousin. Okay, cool. It was something my parents were quick to... Re Ugh. It was something my parents were quick to correct me on. Anyway, one day when I was at school and she was at hers, there was apparently some sort of accident. 
Long story made as short as it has made me uncomfortable to talk about. She ended up in a burn ward, and she was... She didn't make it. Though as messed up as she was, I will always wonder if she would have wanted to. It's immediately what I thought of when I saw the sign. <sighs> to be honest, I wouldn't mind a good old-fashioned screaming ghost child to distract me from the thought. What was that? Oh wow, this place is really falling apart. With an open wall like that, you'd think the damage would be way worse. That being said, it's a nice view. Ugh, what was that? There! Running, 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 running. Into a wall, apparently. Oh, bitch fell down. Okay, we're back, and it looks like the camera survived just fine. We're here with Raven, who is apparently of a similar mindset as me, this happy Hallow's Eve. No, I'm not. Well, similar enough that you're here in this haunted hospital on All Hallow's Eve. Eve, I mean Eve. Yeah, cause... Okay. So, Raven, have you seen any ghosts yet this evening? No. Have you seen anything spooky? No. Would you consider elaborating on your answers? No. Do you want me to leave you alone? Yes. Ha! Oh, wait. Dang it. Fine. We will leave you alone with your mysteries. So, I think I just stumbled across this. I think I just stumbled across this. Across a squatter. Fucking S's. <laughs> Though given how badly this place is falling apart, I can't help but wonder why anyone would want to squat here. Sorry for the blackout there. I dropped the camera roll warning. Well, I'm going to leave her alone in her little corner of the hospital. Let's see. Where to next? Da da da. The E ward. Okay, so far, it's it's not bad, but I can't believe she's still trying to ghost hunt when there's people in the building. I, although I do think Raven might have been an actual ghost. Alright, here we are, lads and ladies. The ecto- What? Okay, this bitch is crazy. Yes, I know that's neither a real word nor the name of the place, but I can't help but call it something silly. And everywhere you look, the name reads like this. Do you think maybe I'm looking at this wrong and it's supposed to be e-clinic? Like, maybe they service robots here with robotic ailments. This place seems in really good shape, other than the defacing of all the signs. If I didn't know any better... I'd almost think this part of the hospital was still active. Holy shit. Boo. Really? Ah! <laughs> Dude, he's got a pumpkin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't expect to find anyone else here. And when I saw you, I just couldn't help myself. Oh, that's another dude. <laughs> You're telling me. I mean, about the finding anyone else here? Once again, sorry about that. Wasn't exactly a kind thing to do. I'm Andy. You okay? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing in a haunted hospital, Mr. Andy? Same as you, I expect. Hoping to bump into a ghost? Get a good fright in or two? Oh, get a good fright in or two. Oh, shut up. Okay. Ain't seen much so far. Just the general spookiness when a place falls into disrepair. You know? Yeah, uh, I know what you mean. Same here. Still, what the heck is wrong with you scaring me like that? I was under the impression that you came here specifically to be scared. Perhaps you're just upset that I'm not a ghost. No. 
Maybe you're scared because a man over three times your size has you alone in an abandoned building miles away from anything resembling civilization. Not creepy. Uh... Did you just say gulp <laughs> instead of gulping? Damn, girl, you're like a Goram cartoon <laughs> character. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Look, I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm more here to get scared than do any scaring of my own. Cool. No anywhere scarier in the building? Scarier than a room with me? You do realize I have 30,000 followers watching me right now. 30,000? Really? No, but I think I'm at a few hundred, which is pretty good for me. Probably should do a whole live streaming thing more often. Uh, here's to you kids watching. Please excuse, please excuse my poor taste and humor. I'm just here to have fun. Well, thank you, Andy. But back to my earlier question. The basement would have to be the scariest place in the building. That said, I doubt you'll be able to go down there. At least, not this year. You'll see what I'm talking about if you try to go down there. What do you mean? It's flooded. I already tried it myself. Have you been down there before? No. I heard about this place from a friend. It really is haunted. Oh, really? And would you be so kind, dear Andy, to tell us exactly how you know this? Uh, you, you don't need to know how I know. Anyway, you have fun. I'm going to keep doing some ghost hunting of my own. Thanks, Andy. I'll see you around. Andy seemed nice, but if he's right, then Owen's suggestion of the basement is out. Oh my god. So I saw a set of stairs near the entrance, and call me avant-garde, but if I were to have a basement, I'd have the stairs lead to them. I know at this point I can pretty much guarantee that any chance of me getting spooked by spooks is out. This is all spooked shit. Oh my god. You just can't have a haunted house with a full house. <sighs> I should have known that I wouldn't be the only one drawn out by the allure of a good scare. Still, we have one chance left. Two different attendees have directed me to the basement. So we're going to take a gander and see if we can't finally find something frightening. All right. I see the door to the stairs. Let's see if it's as flooded as they implied. Ah! Help me! Oh, milk duds, you scare- Doesn't matter. What's wrong? Are you okay? He's right behind me. He wants to kill me. Who wants to kill you? Oh, God. Oh, God. Holy shit! Maybe it's a murder mystery thing. Oh, did somebody totally get shot? Did Jill get shot? He's gone. I thought he was going to kill me too. He took her body. I can't even find a trace of it. Did I pass out for a moment there? How much time has passed? Did that actually happen? Did you guys see that? Come on guys, say something. I'm terrified out of my mind here. Is this chat broken? Is the audio still going through? It looks fine on my end. If anyone can hear me, call 911. <laughs> Relax. It's just me. I heard gunshots. So, that actually happened? It wasn't a ghost? Oh god. I just saw a murder. What did you see, exactly? There was a man. I didn't really see him clearly. He was in the shadows. The woman, she was wearing that stuff patients wear. 
I thought this hospital wasn't active. Why is there someone in patient stuff? A good question. Hey, you. Come over here. She's having a panic attack or something. I want to go check and see if I can find the shooter. I'm not having a panic attack! I'm just regular panicking! Oh, hello, Raven. I heard a noise and I ran away, but then I realized the way I was running was closed off. and ran back this way to get out. Thank you for that. That's very reassuring. How is that reassuring? It wasn't meant to be. Yeah, yeah. Whoever was shooting didn't come back to the party, which is good because I just got the cupcakes out. God, God dang it, don't sneak up on me like that. Oh, I wonder if the rumors were true and they still use this place for experimental medical experiments. <laughs> That's a rumor? If I had known there was a rumor like that, I wouldn't have come within a mile of this place. That rumor is 20 years old, at least. The supposed experiments were run during the 90s. Well, I have only heard of them very recently, like yesterday, and for my brat told me it's not safe to party here. Do you think that... Do you think that the dude who was shooting might have been a government spook? Government spook? Are you joking? I like, never joke. <laughs> you were setting out cupcakes for a Halloween party in an abandoned hospital. If that's not a joke, I don't know what is. Bruh, don't diss my party. I throw this thrasher every Halloween. Stop! Someone was shot! We have to find her. She's still, she may still be alive. After four shots. One way or another. Owen. I don't suppose any of your partygoers could have been dressed as a patient for some reason. My partygoers could be dressed as anything. Kitten, move. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear to Buzz Aldrin. Those two aren't actually very far apart. Well, you know what I mean, brah. Oh my god. Is it just me, or has Andy been gone a while? He the huge black dude? Oh, uh, well. Maybe it was him. Sucks to have him play to stereotypes, but it's not like it's... Oh my god. I hate this guy. But it's not like <laughs> being a stereotype negates it from being a possibility. Seriously. Really. No, the man who shot her was much, much smaller than Andy. Oh, that's good. Kitten! <laughs> if Andy runs into him, he could probably just fall on him and deal with him that way. Oh my god. I have cookies to take care of, so... Don't you dare leave. There's a murderer about. I should go too. Are you kidding me? What about the murderer? I didn't see anything. Here. Hey, killer man. If you bother this weird lady, talks to yourself. I will be the killer. <laughs> because I will kill you. Don't think I won't. <laughs> that ought to do it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Ugh. Dear lads and ladies, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to solve this murder mystery. Okay, so somehow I have a connection to streaming. The upload is active. The photo chip, or, <laughs> the photo chips, kitten move. The potato chips. Um, I can see, I can even see other streamers doing their thing. That being said, I can't contact nine one one via my phone or any other sites via the internet. 
meaning that if the hospital isn't haunted, my malevolent spirits, my phone provider certainly is. So if you're watching this, please call the police for me. I'm seeing that I recorded the whole thing, save for the last three shots, so there should be plenty of evidence on my stream records. That being said, I'm not leaving if there's any chance that woman might be alive, or worse, that Owen might be right, and there may be other people being experimented on. Let's go. And where exactly do you think you're going? Andy! In the flesh, speaking of. Which, let's see, Kit. Okay. Little baby kitten, you have got to fucking stay out of the way. <laughs> Speaking of which, I ain't seen hide nor hair of your victim's body, or even any evidence of a murder at all. Hmm, Owen mentioned that there may have been experiments going on in a hidden part of the hospital. That woman might have been a subject. Okay, but I'll take anything that Owen Fellow says with a grain of salt. But what if the gunshots weren't bullets? What if they were sleeping darts? Do sleeping darts fire at the same volume as a regular gun? I don't know. I wouldn't even know if what I heard was a regular gun. I will admit, despite how I may look, I ain't exactly had much involvement with guns myself. Oh, wow. What's that supposed to mean? A giant black man. You don't think I look like a gangbanger? No. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So, where did you go? Honestly, I thought I had heard something on my way to you. Thought maybe our shooter had run past me. Wit and scoured the wing I was in. Anything? Not a thing. And I'm sure of it. How sure? More sure than you'll reasonably be willing to believe on my word alone. For the sake of my sanity, I'm going to start by believing you. Is there anything in that wing that might conceal a secret lab? Other than the waiting room, every single wall may not... Oh, but not the support beams, think. Almighty have been knocked out. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with this dialogue? Okay, looks like some kids were playing a demolition. If they're hidden, then the government agency behind these clandestine experiments possesses powerful cloaking technology and it's probably... And it'd probably be best for us to just stand back and let them do their thing. Never! Then it's a good thing they don't have cloaking tech, and it's just plain old empty. How do you know that they don't have cloaking tech? Because last I checked, that is this isn't Star Trek. Yeah. Sorry, you're right. Getting a little paranoid here. We should check the other wings. Sounds good. But I want to make sure he doesn't sneak past us while we investigate. Why do you have salt? Is it for ghosts? Does salt work on ghosts? Not that I know of. I use it for ice and stuff when I'm splunking. Throw a bit evenly across the ground in front of the door and we'll know if it gets opened. Good. Let's check on the others. You know, the best idea might be to just get up and go. Not without at least looking for the woman. And definitely not with those other two being idiots and staying here. It's hard to argue with that logic. Then let's go. Sure thing. Who you want to check out first? Uh, which do you think is in greater danger? Honestly, us. Not even making a joke this time, but out of the four of us, who is most likely to be shot without provocation? Just asking. And again, between the four of us, which one is risking drawing a lot of attention to herself by live streaming a potential clandestine and government operation? Oh, yeah, good point. Thanks for that. It's okay. Seems like my job today is to keep things scary. 
All right. Where do I go next? Find Owen, find Raven. Um, I fucking hate Owen. I, I, I think I hate Owen more than I hate the girl. So let's go find Raven. Are you serious? I get a response to that? Yeah. If I get on real internet and find out you all didn't call the police, I am quitting streaming and going back to work at local commodity exchange? What the fuck is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> My chat finally updated, but the only response I got was to go check on Raven. They probably want me to rescue the damsel in distress. Come on, guys. I'm a damsel, too. And think, if you were in distress, you'd be more inclined to leave. I think I've played too many video games. I can't just leave after seeing something like that. Yeah, well, smart thing to do would be to run. Either you've got a murderer or a ghost. Either way, it's not something you're exactly equipped to deal with. No, it's cool. I've got my photon beam pack in the trunk. Have you actually even seen the movies? Dear lads and ladies, please forgive my heresy, but I've only seen the 2016 version. Oh my god. Could be worse. Could have only played the video games. <laughs> the video games are good. Shouldn't be surprised to hear that from a streamer. You know, we've been walking and talking for a while, but I haven't seen any sign of Raven. Maybe she took flight. Ah, <laughs> very punny. Raven! Raven! This is one of the bigger wings of the hospital. I spent a long time here earlier searching for a way to the basement. I thought you said it was flooded. I was hoping some part wasn't. Anyway, we should split up if we want to look for her. Her and the killer, too. Are you, you, are you sure we need to split up? I thought you said you were equipped to deal with the killer. I said, holy shit. <laughs> what was that? Okay, I said I had an electron pack, not a way to deal with a murderer. You'll be no worse off than you were when we decided to stay here. Just scream real loud if you start getting shot. Oh, sure. Like, you wouldn't hear the gunshots. I gotta be honest. I am starting to regret my decision to stay. Could someone remind me why I haven't run for the hills yet? Oh, yeah. Because I can't leave that dumb girl or that idiot frat bro here to get ganked. Seriously, this is like the plot to a bad B-movie. Let's just ignore the only one who has any sense. We sure won't get murdered. Okay, yeah, I really don't have an excuse to talk. I just didn't want to find out Raven or Owen even... Even though I literally only just met them, died because I left them alone here. You shouldn't be worried about us. Raven? This is not a place for you. What is that supposed to mean? It means that this is not a place for you. You should not stay here. I can't argue with that. We should leave. You should come help me convince Owen too. No. This is not a place for you. This is our place. <laughs> this is some kind of joke. I'm having a really hard time reading this conversation. Do you know of the first death in this hospital? No, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me. A bird. No suffering patient. Just an idiot bird who landed in setting cement, a fossil before its time. 
Okay, what does that have to do with anything? It was the first thing to die here. Okay, how about we pause your audition for an extra in a horror movie and focus on getting you out of here? But I haven't told you about all the other deaths that have happened here. That's nice. Let's get out of here. Andy! Andy, I found Raven. <laughs> That's great. Now let's get out of... Does she just do this superhero thing? Not the one with the landing. The thing where they disappear when you look away for a second. I always found that whole thing sort of contrived. Shows that I... What I know. Where's Raven? She ran off. At least she's fine. No sign of your murderer. My conversation with Raven makes me think that whole thing was some contrived prank. I'm certainly starting to wonder about the murderer. Hmm. Let's just go look for Owen. So is this how you expected to be scared on your Halloween night? No, but I can also safely say it's not my worst. Really? A murderer isn't your scariest Halloween? Not really. You want to expand upon that for our viewers at home? <laughs> Not particularly. Fair. I can't force you. But don't you want to be famous? Not even a little. Fine. All right, welcome to the... Oh, it's you two. Good to see you too. Have you seen anything? Did anything at your party get disturbed? No, the only thing getting disturbed is me by you. I don't know why they sound alike. They, they just... They just do. <laughs> How can I throw a party with you trying to scare people with some dumb murder story? You think I made that up? Duh. You think I'd still be setting up for, for, you think I'd still be setting up for a party if I thought there was a real murderer? No way, bro. If there was someone murdering people, I'd be moving this party to somewhere a little less likely to include gunfire. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> you seem pretty dumb. See? Don't be rude, Holmes. Fine. Do you think he came this way? No. I'm 100% sure no one came this way. After getting back, I made sure to look everywhere for arrivals, but no one was here yet. Such a buzzkill. Okay. Uh, I mean, I suppose if you haven't seen anything. Viewers, did you see anything on our way here? Didn't you say they weren't responding? I get something every once in a while. They told me to check here, after all. You lads and ladies better have called the police by now. Speaking of which, why haven't you gone and called the police? Do you think I'm lying too? I think I already made my stance on the police very clear. That, and I think you saw a ghost, not a murder. Really? A ghost? Now, I make a living off of playing video games, so realize who is saying this when you hear it. I think you have been playing too many video games. Look, I'll confess something to you and my viewers. I had no illusions. I fully expected to find nothing except for a few jump scares and false positives. I don't actually believe in ghosts. And I believe I told you earlier, this place is actually haunted. You think I would say that if I didn't think ghosts were real? Yes, in fact, I think there are several industries built on that very concept. I believe in ghosts. And I think you saw one. Maybe even two. Oh, sure, why not? At this point, I'm starting to wonder if you might be right. Regardless, I'm done. I'm out. Probably for the best. Are you staying? 
Yeah. At least until the cops arrive. After your whole spiel about not liking them? Didn't say I'd say hello, but I'll wait till they get here for you. Yeah, I'll call them as soon as I get a real signal again. Might be doubling up unless my viewers are sadists, but... Yeah, I get you. Stay safe, you hear? Can do! Ah! Help me! <laughs> you again! You're alive! <laughs> He's right behind me! He wants to kill me! You already pulled this stunt with me once. I'm not buying it. Do you have any idea how badly you scared me? Will you cut that out? I get it. This is some tooting prank. I'm talking to you. Oh no. What is, what is going on? Ooh. Okay, maybe this isn't a prank. He's right behind me. He wants to kill me. It's a loop. Help me. What's happening? What? She died a long time ago. They're ghosts? No. No, it's just her. The man isn't there. Not even in the sense of a dead spirit. It's all just a shadow of the trauma from when she died. He shot me? No, you just stood in the middle of a shadow play. They can't hurt you. How? 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 How do you know all this? I told you before. I'm here for the ghosts. This isn't exactly my first haunting. You- you're acting like this is normal. Do you really think it's so abnormal? Even after seeing it? After coming here specifically for this? Why would you want to tell me all of this? Don't you want to keep something like this secret? I'm broadcasting to the entire world. Come on. You think ghosts would be to seek would be a secret if something like that worked? I can't say what you're broadcasting. But it isn't this. He's right behind me! He wants to kill me! What's to stop me from running away and telling the whole world what I've seen? Uh, common sense? But, ghosts are real. I can prove it if I bring someone here. Won't work. Hauntings are rarely this explicit. Or passive, for that matter. I doubt she'll be here tomorrow. But, but I can't just, I can't just forget about this. Ghosts are real. The afterlife is real. I'm an atheist. <laughs> or, well, I was like five minutes ago. <laughs> sure, it's not hard to walk away from this. One frightening event doesn't need to warp your life. But it did for you, didn't it? It might have. Uh, they're starting to loop faster. Something about tonight is causing everything here to become more active. Wouldn't it be because of, you know, Halloween? Wouldn't be impossible. Wouldn't really be any more likely than any other day of the year, though. Flooding's gone. You should leave now. Unless you want this to be part of your life. Now is the time to go home. I'm going to the haunted basement. Help me! Okay. Ghosts are real. This place is actually haunted. There's a woman behind me dying on repeat. And the thing that bothers me most... Is who have I been talking to? I've seen responses... You've told me what to do. Who are you? Are you a ghost, too? Yeah, you would shut up at such an important time. So tell me, oh ghost ex machina, what should I do? 
Should I listen to Andy and leave? Or should I do what I want to do and follow him? Let's follow Andy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just needed to hear someone say it. Even if, objectively, I shouldn't be listening to you, ghost ex machina. But just like before, I couldn't just forget this. It would stick with me. <laughs> it would haunt me. Get it? Help me! <laughs> oh, give it a rest! Let's go. So do we actually follow him? Or is that the end of the story? Oh, fuck yeah. The basement. Okay. If these were flooded earlier, it's impossible to tell. This place looks as clean as if the hospital was still active. That's... That's actually more spooky than if it were properly worn. All right, here I go. I'm actually kind of excited. Switching to night mode. Yeah. Well, that didn't help at all. It's darker than black. It's phantom black in here? <laughs> Not even scared. Just seriously thinking about turning around, considering how dark it is. What's that? Ghost of Machina? Someone behind? Ah! Needles! No! The patient is taking well to the treatment. They are beginning to respond to phenomena our instruments can only barely detect. Currently, the only manifestations of concern are the infrequent losses of lucidity. So, have you heard of that new show, Survivor? Patient entered cardiac arrest when moved to the old burn ward. At the same time, our instruments spiked wildly. No phenomena were visibly, audibly, or stomatically observed by the men, save for a bird that seemed to have been distressed by the same event. Where am I? What's going on? Why can't I move? We will be storing her in the mortuary freezer. What? No! No, no, please. I can't stand that, please. I'm not dead. No, 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 no. Holy shit. I'm alive. What the rice pudding was that? What? No response? Gals and ghouls. I can't believe I didn't think of that one immediately. Way better than Ghost Ex Machina. You shouldn't have done that. Oh. My. Goodness. He took- He took a grip on the veil and with one fell swoop tore it away. You could have walked away before. But now? Our world is your own. Is that it? Is that it? <gasps> Haley, lads and ladies. Sorry about the live stream. Yeah, the entire thing got messed up. Apparently there were seriously bad wiring, basically creating a huge EMP field on the building. I spent so long scaring myself that I didn't even realize there was a problem until I had left. Even the footage is corrupt. It's too bad you guys missed out. It was terrifying. I grabbed a couple dozen cookies from Star Chips. As a treat for myself after the whole experience, it was... Just a sec. The screen is being weird again. It must be still messed up from the hospital. <laughs> Ew, no. <laughs> Man, I guess I'm still on edge. I'll be right back. Is there gonna be a jump scare? Please don't be a jump scare. <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> oh my god, Owen. <gasps> Could you like open the door for me? These cookies would be like perfect for my party. Oh wow, he was dead too. 
The end. Holy crap. Live with Jill Count. Well now, that was entertaining, I hope. <laughs> I must say, I didn't really like her to begin with because she was pretty annoying, but I really started to have fun with her. And I hope I wasn't too annoying because of it. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you guys like this and if you want me to do the other two stories. And if you do, just in the comments, let me know. All right, my little dreadfuls. Until next time.